In this section, I'd like us to look at the, uh, the fourth tab along on the, on the ribbon, on the Excel uh, uh, 2007, which deals with formulas. We all used formulas in Excel, but I think if we look at the, the, the new interface, we're going to be able to see perhaps how some of the formulas that we were not familiar with and perhaps that we haven't used are now so immediately apparent we may be lured into finding out just how they work. And there are the areas of Excel, and I'm sure for most of us users, the areas of Excel that, were, that was hidden away that we never ever knew existed or never even bothered to look for because we didn't use it in our normal day-to-day -day existence is now perhaps a little more accessible. Let's go straight to the ribbon and have a look what's, what there is there. Okay, going across from, uh, from left to right in formulas, some of these, uh, the icons that we've got now on the ribbon, the commands that we've got on the ribbon, are again logically in groups, but we're familiar, of course, with some of these. The, the function button, we're very familiar with that, and I don't mean to go across a ground that we should already know from our previous versions of Excel. The auto sum, we did come across that in, um, <coughs> in, in previous Excel, but also I did come across it, uh, and I, I mentioned to you on the home tab, uh, that, that it has got the capability of uh, very rapidly accessing some other quick um, functions, such as average, maximum, and minimum. We're also able to go to recently used functions, uh, and I think if you're using uh, formulas uh, very uh, uh, regularly, it's going to be very useful for you to be able to have at your fingertips the sort of thing that you're using on a, on a regular basis. Um, for those of you who, who are using financial formulas, I mean, I look, I'm looking at, at this list. I've spent some time looking at this list and see, just to see how many that I'm really familiar with. And... Uh, I mean, to, to, to be honest, I, I would say things like IRR, I can remember that from, uh, from my MBA, uh, but that was the only time I ever used it. And I think these are going to be specialist formulae to, or specialist formulas to whatever area of either finance or, or accounting or, or your, own, your own specialism. Uh, has anyone got experience of using these sort of, uh, these different formulas in their, in their sort of day to day existence? I've used the NPV and IIR a few times, and present value as well. Okay. I, I, would you say that you're a, a confident user of those? Do you use them on a regular basis? Um, I, used, I haven't used them for a few years now, but I used to use them a lot, yes. Yeah. It, it was something that just you threw the numbers in and out came the answer, which was great. Absolutely. And, and of course, if, you're, if, you're, if that's what you're doing in your normal day-to-day, -day, it's, uh, it's a great benefit to you. Uh, but they are very specialist formulas, and that, that's great. And much the same, if we move over to uh, further along on the tab, the, the logical ones... Um, I, I've got a worksheet we can look at with a couple of these on there that, uh, that, are, that I've used previously in school for uh, uh, examination material. And um, we'll, we'll have a look at some of these because uh, you, you may or may not be with familiar with some of the, uh, the, the, the if type uh, um, logical formulae. Uh, let's have a look. If I zoom out, I'll, I'll, I've got one um, <coughs> on this machine. I go to the, uh, the, the office button. And uh, it's one that I, I, I know is uh, uh, on my system here. The, the example for VLOOKUP, v I'm going to have to zoom in and out of this one a lot because the, the data is, is, is very small on Excel screen. Okay, th this was one that I used, and I'll, I'll zoom in now. One that I used uh, um, uh, for, for students for examination purposes, and uh, I gave them some, uh, some data and they had to create um, a, a worksheet using uh, so, some more, um, really some formulas that they wouldn't use on a normal day-to-day -day basis. The VLOOKUP formula and the IF formulas, which have, uh, they have been in previous versions. But of course, I, I think now, um, you are there is, in my mind, I think that you as, as users are going to be using different formulae because they are so easily available. And, and I think you're going to be making a, a you know, I, I really think that people will make a more of an effort to, uh, to, to find out what does this do? How does this formula work? Is this, is this something that I might use or maybe it may be something that you'll never use? But let's have a look how some of the, the if and v lookups um, came about. This was a, um, a spreadsheet that I, I used for, uh, uh, it was for holidays. 
and uh, literally the uh, the students were given the information that we can see in the in the uh, the box here uh, about uh, basic cost of of, desti uh, of going to different destinations cost per extra night car hire and that sort of thing and they were given uh, 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 some different scenarios and they had to create uh, an excel spreadsheet that, that 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 satisfied all of the things that i was looking for i'll just zoom out again now the sort of things, and I'm going to incorporate some of the new stuff that, that we've got as well. Um, the sort of things that these guys had to produce for me, uh, and, and zooming in quickly, you know, there, there's nothing uh, that looks completely too awkward here. Basic costs, extra nights, this sort of thing. Until we start looking at, um, I'll click on some of these cells, and we've got the formula that's come up in the uh, in the function bar there, which is quite a, a, a complicated formula. And some of you, uh, uh, in fact, I would think that many of us uh, would not normally use that sort of formula. But um, it's a sort of thing that I would hope to see more and more people using now, where we're, we're fixing uh, um, uh, data from tables that we're given, and then being able to use that data to be able to create answers. And I think that this is what I'm I'm really hopeful that Office 2007 will generate is an interest in using the more complicated formulae that previously people never looked at and wouldn't even have considered looking at. So that, that's one part of it. Even though the formulae have been there, or the formulas have been there for a long time, I don't think that people have been using formulas beyond their comfort zone. Okay, um, just going back along the, uh, the, the, the top here, um, sort of uh, other things that we're, we're likely to come across. Um, for those of you who, who are uh, heavily into mathematics and, and trigonometry, uh, again, these things, that they've been there before, but maybe you've not used them before. Uh, looking up and reference, yes, and again, we can use the, the, the web now to, to help us to, to look up. This is a new, a new section, the defining of names. And... Um, what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to go back to my, my previous uh, uh, spreadsheet, um, which had got lists of names in it. We're still on the formulas ribbon, and we can see the commands there uh, from this group. So wh what I'm going to show you is how to create uh, groups of names uh, in, in Excel 2007. So in this uh, define name section, as you can see there on, on screen, uh, I can actually put a name to a cell or a group of cells. And the example it gives me there, uh, it says you might name the cells A20 to A40's expenses. And, and maybe you'd want to do that. Let's, uh, let's just do uh, a group of cells just to, just to go through the process. And um, literally, if I go back over to here, I've got a little group of cells there define name, and I might want to call that, instead of it calling it Peter, it's come up with the first name in the list, I might want to call it my, um, I'm going to call it my high achievers. And if I call this group high achievers, okay it there. And now should I need to go into name manager, there's my little group that I've got named as high achievers.